Hey guys and welcome back to Steamworks. So spring is here and a lot of you are planning your annual maintenance. So today we're just going to talk about a few things that we see as questions a lot when people are preparing for a rental boiler. So we're here with Nicole. She's with our sales department. She's the person that you'll talk to if you can call and inquire about a rental boiler and she gets uh, probably hundreds of questions sometimes during the week uh, regarding rental boilers and so we're just going to talk with her today and find out what some of these questions are and um, so Tell us, what, what's the most frequent question that you get? So probably one of the most frequent questions that we get is how soon we can get the boiler on site. And that depends on a few factors, um, like the size, the capacity, the logistics of the project. Some projects are way more complex than others and require several shipments. But typically, it takes one to seven days to get our unit from here to the location. Yeah, and like, so when we talk about the size and the capacity, I can totally understand that because of uh, we, you know, we have certain boilers that they require maybe even upward of three trailers just to take the complete kit for that boiler because it's such a large boiler and then whereas some can be in uh, trailers as small as the one behind us which is less than 20 foot. So, you know, these larger ones can have uh, even road permitting uh, specifications that they have to right. meet. In so. certain areas that we rent there are permitting um, requirements and also availability is one of the big factors is if people know that they're going to need a rental boiler at a certain date, it's so important for them to let us know and reserve that unit in advance. Uh, because our you know, fleet it fluctuates so much every single day, we have units coming in, coming out. So to make sure that we have that unit for when they need it, it's critical for us to have that commitment from the customer. So the boiler's arrived and the trailers, they unhook the trailer, now what? So the boiler arrives, there's an important thing to consider before the startup can be done and it's the connection to the customer's system. So the customer can choose to do with their in-house personnel, they can hire a local mechanical contractor or even ask PMI to do it. But it's really important to have the boiler properly connected before anything else can happen. Absolutely. There's, uh, you know, with that said, I have to jump in there and say, you know, the leveling of the boiler. Uh, super critical getting it cribbed right uh, because once the boiler gets filled with water it could settle um, the freeze protection and and all of these things we have like further videos with a lot more detail on it that uh, if you guys need more information on it you can get those but uh, at, absolutely the setup and the connection is critical for proper operation of the rental boilers mm -hmm. so now they're set up, they call you and tell you they're, they're connected, they're ready to start the boiler up, now what? Uh, I know that in my experience, a lot of times I've had customers call and they want to know if they can start the boiler themselves. Um, yeah, so we're often asked if the customer can perform the startup or if they can have somebody that they know do the startup. And with our boilers, only an authorized power mechanical technician can perform the startup. And it's because with this kind of units, there's such a huge risk and we want to eliminate any risk that there is by verifying that everything is performing correctly before they fire off the boiler. Yep. And so, that, you know, the startup technician is going to come out, they're going to check the safeties, they're going to verify that the boiler is level, they're going to verify that uh, there's adequate fuel supply, um, just so many parameters that they're going to have to go through. They're going to check to make sure that the, uh, the load demands can be met. So there's just a lot of things that have to be considered and, uh, to protect our equipment and the personnel that are using it. It's important that, the, that a uh, power mechanical technician is the only person that can start the boiler initially. And so, right. So then, while our techs are out there, they're actually going to be doing training with the customer on site, going over the starting, the stopping of the boiler, the daily blowdowns, and the safety checks, so that the customer can ha you have a good feel for what the machine is doing when we're not on site. Gotcha. So, like, basically, if the boiler, if they need to shut it down at night and then start it up in the morning, their in-house guys would be able to then start it up and. Uh, they'll they'll be trained to, to do the blowdowns, uh, monitor that water treatment, which uh, if you see a lot of my videos, you know I think is very important. So the boiler's operating, everything's going good. Uh, what kind of questions do you see on a normal basis for regular operations? 
As far as regular operations, one of the questions that we might get is about the maintenance of the boilers. So once the boiler is on site, it is the customer's responsibility to do the general maintenance and the water treatment if needed. Um, and then if there's a part that fails or something needs to be replaced, typically we will cover it and we'll provide a new piece, but the installation and the labor portion will have to be performed by the customer. Okay. Or again, one of their mechanical contractors in the area that can. You know, we always handle warranties on a case by case, uh, you know, because sometimes things do fail and it, and it may need further extenuating circumstances like you say and so um, but we also um, we have spare parts inside all of our rental boilers um, you may not even know this but like uh, we have a very large inventory inside of them with you know a lot of these parts that sometimes can cause some headaches on site so filters all those things are in there for so the customer doesn't even have to go out of their way to get the stuff that they need absolutely because these are the kind of parts like i always say you you won't go and find them at lowe's these are uh, some specialty parts and that helps when there's an issue that's happening and they can get the solution right away there's absolutely. no waiting time there's no shipping yeah so so anything else you got anything else you want to add or if they have any more questions, they can call us anytime. All right, well, there you have it, guys. I hope this video was helpful. And if you like this video, be sure and give us a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down there. And other than that, we'll see you next week for another Steamworks.